right, man. So we have pretty uh, hefty east wind today. Um, figured I'll do something a little bit different. I got myself a half ounce uh, Captain Hank's eye jig or ball jig. I got a you know four inch speed shad, and all I'm gonna be doing once we pull up to a spot, put a little bit of Procure on it, Menhaden, and figure I'm gonna jig for whatever bites type of thing. But uh. Okay, that's a flounder. Yeah, buddy. Not a big one, but definitely a flounder. Actually, this guy might not have some... He might have some size to him. Ah, nah. Just a pinhead flounder. But, hey. It's better than nothing, man, right? Gotta start somewhere. Alright. Yeah, I'm not even measuring this guy. He's probably... 14 at best but hey it's a start can't jig it quick enough to get away from some of these sea bass Got him. That's a flounder. Oh no. Sea robin. Well, it's a new species, so I can't be mad at that. I actually was going to try and target these guys specifically to try and get them knocked off my list. They are actually not bad to eat, if you can believe that, but you know. He's a little too small to do a catch and cook in my eyes. I really don't want to grab him. So you got to be careful when you are handling these guys. They have those spines behind the head, man. You know, they don't feel good when they get you. He's saying hello to everyone. All right, man. So the fishing's kind of been tough with the east wind. So I think I'm going to throw on a bomb sweeper jig and try and find some structure to keep me away from the wind. All right, let's try and get this down there. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Might be a, a tog. I'm thinking tog. Maybe sheep. Probably tog. Uh, no, I'm sheep. That last run pretty much told you. Because if this is a tog, it's going to be a nice one, man. I'm pretty sure that's a sheep. Yep, baby sheep. Why not? It's funny, uh, the ones we up here we call small are actually like decent sized ones down south in some areas. You know, like, <clears throat> I don't know how big this guy is, maybe, I don't know, roughly maybe 18 inches. That's, you know, some some places that's a you know beautiful specimen but you're just a baby to me all right we're gonna let this guy go tell you what man sometimes there is nothing better than that feeling man when a sheep's head just absolutely throttles your bait i mean that was like no there wasn't even a question when I dropped that bait down what we hooked into. Because even with stripers, even if you hook into a striper, they tend to not realize a little bit slower that they're hooked, I feel like, than the sheep. There's, oh, that's a good hit. Got him. Got him, baby. That's a sheep. That's definitely a sheep. Woohoo! Taking me on a little sleigh ride. Away from the oh no, uh, 
this guy ran kind of like a striper i was just about to say holy moly and just what we said um with the delay you know that fish when i hooked it i felt the weight but i didn't feel the fish until he started running didn't really need to net this guy not a big one at all but uh i find that it's probably a little less um you know harm done to the fish than trying to flip them flip them into the boat or the kayak it takes kind of the pressure off of its head when you're uh getting it in I'll tell you what man that is beautiful little schoolie there he goes okay that's definitely a nice sheep Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Man, these guys. I'm trying not to horse them because we left bonehead move of the day. We left our actual mono that we like using for our leader. So I'm using lighter leader material than I typically do for this type of fishing. But he did not like seeing the kayak. Damn, son. It might have looked like one was behind him too. There we go. Not a bad little sheep. Oh man, this guy. Nice little hook set. All right, this guy. Literally hooked right in the corner jaw. Perfect hook set. He got a little blood from his jaw, but he's going to survive. Oh, man, that's a hefty fish, man. That guy's got some backbone to him. There he goes. That's got to be a tog. It's got to be. Yep. Little bait thief, man. These guys. It's like that. They know they're. They got to be, you know, 15 inches. So they just stay at 13. Tog for sure. Definitely a tog. Yep. Not a bad one, actually. Probably been a borderline keeper, but not keeping it today. 